today is Saturday, the 11th of July, and we're fishing Shore Beach. What's going on guys? Back down Shore Beach. Lovely afternoon. And guess what today? We're going to christen a new wheel and we're going to catch some mackerel. So stay tuned guys. And you can see just in front of me loads of mackerel in break of the water. I don't know that's weed look. That's just shoals and shoals of Bait fish anywhere. Time to slip on the gun, you might get some of There you go guys, first cast, full house. That's all bait fish, really close in. You can see the water alive, there are thousands of mackerel. So we're going to quickly dispatch these and go and put a wave to go in the freezer. There you go guys, that's what the mackerel's feeding on, tiny little sprats. So they put my finger there next to it. Mm. I thought that was all wheat, but it's literally all bait fish just there. Sorry about the wind. You can see I've got a break here and there. Just want to try and load up on some mackerel from the freezer. Guys, when catch a mackerel, Remember to return the small ones. The size of is 20 centimetres and they're a bit small. That's a normal sort of size. That one's half the size. So try and return them. Um, try not to touch them because um, if your skin touches them, um, it harms them and they don't make it. So if you can, try and get them back with some at least with wet, wet hands or try and shake them off into the sea with the feathers. Um, I've almost got enough mac for now to last me over the winter, so I'm going to swap over to the lure rod and try and target them out singly and see if we can find some bass amongst all of this mac Got about 20 mac in there. You notice they've all been dispatched. That's all literally snapping their head backwards. It's a little bit horrible to show on camera, but they dispatched them straight away. Stops them flapping around all around the beach. And yeah, ready for bait. Well, the main reason why I wanted to come out was to try out my new um, spinning wheel. Looks about 10 years old now. It's a H2O lure game. Really nice wheel. Yeah, it handled the mackerel really well. It just seems like there's one big shoal going around, just hitting all this white bait in front of us. 
it's almost a fisher cast but you can actually see him break the water um apologize that the winds uh sound is coming from the mic i've got my microphone with me today i wasn't actually planning to uh, film but when there's fish around like this it's a bit silly not to um, i'm going to swap over some lures now see if we can pick them out singly so you can see the water falling just in front of me there all mackerel try and see if you get the best shot look at them all boiling out the water when you hear that term people saying that water's boiling on fish that's what it looks like all that vehicle all around there you see in the waves as well they come up in the waves you can see them jumping out of water occasionally but uh, yeah it's quite some sight and it's literally a fishing class I don't know you see them all around here but yeah let's get lures on Just trying out some new line on um, my new reel. It's by IMAX. Um, it's, it's weird, it's almost like a really fine mono hybrid. It's like a 3D line. Um, I'll take a photo and I'll show you um, what model it is. It's only 10 pounds, but it's really fine, really strong. It's got an orange tint to it. but. For my ledger knot, no, for my ledger, I'd use some um, 15 pound fluorocarbon and just a snap swivel there. But the lure I'm going to use now is the H2O Shore Jig, 18 grand bait fish, and I've got some trebles there. And just on the back of this uh, lure here, there's another split ring, and I'm just going to have a treble to it because. It increases your hookup rate. Not many people like trebles, but I quite like them. Um, definitely help to catch a fish. You can see the water still boiling away there. I think the poor chap next to me is um, trying to bait fish for mackerel. I don't know if he's got any feathers, and I think he's just moving around his uh, line just trying to catch fish. But yeah, it's not going to bad for him. <laughs> I'll go try and catch some on the lure. So there you go, there's a treble added to the back, straight onto the lid clip, and that's onto the 15 pound fluorocarbon. So let's find some more mackerel, baby. There you go, you can see by adding that treble, it's taking the back hook there. So that's why I like using the treble. Just follow the goals if you want mackerel, guys. Follow the goals. Backboard moving along now. You see all the gulls over there diving around. That's where I moved to. You can see all the shades in the water as well. I'm just trying not to go and climb the camera. But that's another good way to spot mackerel. Just follow the gulls. They do all the hard work for you. But since all the people are coming the water over there, the shoal's gone to the left a bit. But you see the gulls going crazy over there. There's thousands of them. The water's just nice and dark. I saw the bait fish. But what I think I'm going to do, I think I might pack up, uh, make this video, and then head down at low tide somewhere. Because the bass are going to be feeding all around here now, eating all the mackerel and all the smaller fish. So everywhere we go, trying to get in from uh, some bass. Right guys, just saw something really random. Just saw a baby lizard running around on the stones. Let's see if we can find it. Right guys, that's me done now. I don't want my mackerel to cook in the sun. 
Lots of swimmers coming past right now as well, so that's one truly to scare them all away. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.